Hello everyone, welcome back again to Angela's Craft Room. Today I've got card number four using the Winter Woods bundle, which is this one. Today we're going to be using these trees here and a bit of sponging. And from the framelits, I'm going to be creating a mask using this piece here. Okay. So let's get started because I've got a little bit of sponging to do so hopefully the video won't go too long for you. So I've got a piece of Whisper White which measures 11 inches long by 4 and 1 8 of an inch wide and I'm just going to fold that. Now I've got a piece of Whisper White which measures 5 and a quarter by 4 inches and I've already gone ahead to save a little bit of time and just stamp the trees on the side. So I just stamped them off so that they would go off the piece of cardstock. So we'll just pop that straight into the card. I think this one's just about had it. So I'll just get this new one. And we'll just pop that straight into the inside. And then the inside of the card's done. Now, what I'm going to do is take a piece of Bermuda Bay which measures five and three eighths of an inch by four, and I'm going to I'm going to set that aside, but just so you know the sizing, and then I have. A piece of shimmery white which measures five and a quarter by three and seven eighths. Now what I did was I went ahead I used Eclipse masking tape for my all my masking. I get it off eBay so I think it comes from America. So what I did was I just put a piece I cut a piece of the masking tape and then just popped that piece on there and put it through my big shot and I'll show you how I make the then I just because it I wanted a bit wider than the actual cutting the framelit all I did was just snip that off there and snip that off there and then I've got my two pieces so then I'm going to pop that up the top and then I'm just going to pop this piece down the bottom. So I'm going to just push that down. But I'm going to, because I do not want this to move when I start sponging, I'm just going to get a bit of sticky tape. And you could use washi tape if you wanted, but I want something, I want something that's quite strong. That's why I'm using sticky tape, just to get that down. So I use a blending tool purely because um, I have weak wrists. But you could use um, you could use sponge dobbers or you could use just the stamping up sponges. So I've got my colours there. So I'm using Bermuda Bay, Mango Melody, and Calypso Coral. So I'm just gonna. The only thing you can't see me doing is just tapping into that. So you're not missing out on anything. Now I just start off onto the piece. 
and come down and those that have watched my tutorials before on sponging know that I do take my time with the sponging which you have to if you want to get a really lovely smooth effect you could use a sponge brayer as well stamping up has a sponge brayer but I really like to do my sponging this way and it's just a matter of just adding more colour but I start my circles on my Eclipse masking tape first and I'm not adding hardly any pressure at all because if you add too much pressure you're going to end up with lines and this isn't going to be a perfect sponge image like on my original card because I'm going a lot faster than I normally would if I'm sponging. So a big hint and a big tip is don't rush your sponging. I've seen many people, you know, just go in and go so fast with it and they wonder why they've got terrible lines all over their sponging. It is well worth just taking your time And you'll be a lot happier with the results if you just take your time. Now that hasn't taken very long. This is only, this isn't a big sponged area that I'm used to doing. I didn't want to make it too big because otherwise it just takes too long. And if you do find that you've got a blotch somewhere, you just need to keep reapplying. And it will it will eventually smooth out. So I'm going to change now to the Calypso Coral. And you can see that I'm getting most of it off before I even hit the shimmery white cardstock and don't be scared to go up into your Bermuda Bay because you want it to blend into the Bermuda Bay as well and we are going to put some mango melody it's a lovely rich yellow colour on my original card I used So Saffron but I felt that it was just a bit light and it didn't really show that much. So I'm just going down there. So I just find these blending tools, it's about the only thing I use that isn't stamping up. All my products that you see that I'm using today are all stamping up products. I am a stamping up demonstrator in Australia. So if you don't have a demonstrator that looks after you and you would like to order some of the products that you see that I use, just contact me. I'm more than happy to help you. Or if you've been thinking about joining Stamping Up, there are some really great reasons why and I'd be more than happy to explain the difference. A lot of people don't realise what the difference is between being a customer of Stamping Up and being a demonstrator. So you do get some lovely discounts if you are, if you are a demonstrator. So I'm more than happy to help you 
with any information that you may like, you may need to know. You're under no pressure to join or buy the products. I'm more than happy to answer any questions, but I can only help you if you live in Australia, unfortunately. So then I would go, I'm bringing in Mango Melody and I'm not worried if I'm, I'm just going a bit onto the Calypso Coral, I'm not really worried and I'm just going to blend that right up into the Bermuda Bay. So you can see that I'm going, I'm not um, just keeping it into the middle. I just want to blend out that lovely, so it's just got a lovely smooth effect. Smooth finish I should say. So you can see the difference when you take your time and I find it very soothing sponging. It's one of my fav very favourite techniques. But I don't show it very much on my videos because it does make the video go long. But I just thought with the series that I'm doing at the moment for you on the Winter Woods Bundle, I really wanted to show you the techniques that I've used so I'm just going to take the Bermuda Bay back down over the original Bermuda Bay that I've sponged and then just bring it down closer to the another mango melody and just a bit more of calypso coral and then I won't do any more I would I would keep going but I don't want the video to go too long for you So it's just to show you the technique. So we'll just push the stamp sets out of our way. And then we're just going to lift that sticky tape up. And I would definitely be using the sticky tape because otherwise you're going to find that the masking tape will move okay so that leaves a lovely a lovely effect here I it's it does need a bit more blending there but I'm not worried about it because I mainly just want to show you the technique. So then I'm going to bring in the stamparatus and we're just going to stamp now my ink pads are a bit in the way there. So I'm going to stamp trees on here and I think I'm, I'm going to come in two squares on my Stamparatus. If you don't already have a Stamparatus there is coming a very good special coming 
up on the Stamparatus with a matching bag to carry it in to your craft classes and it's going to be one before right so I'm just going to use a generic black you can use memento but I just I just don't have a little square when I'm doing a big area like this I like to use just a square mini square ink pad and with this um, stamp Im image the artist has done all the work for us so you just need to ink and stamp but you need a really good strong black ink so like that you could re-ink that and go um, deeper black if you wanted to but I'm not going to worry about it then I'm going to come across two I'm actually going to come across three yep that's the good thing about the Stamparatus you can just lift the plate right out and just continue to stamp in that row see how that looks so I'm quite happy with that so you've got your trees going all the way along and we'll just wipe that stamp off quickly with the chamois and the stamp parada so it's, it's nice and clean and see how I say you can just lift that straight off. It's an amazing tool, absolutely amazing. Okay, now what I'm going to do now is glue this white piece to the Bermuda Bay. having these grid lines I can just a very little bit of glue coming out there so that's our mat for the cart and then we're going to, I'm going to add some of the Bermuda Bay mini striped ribbon so I'm going to just turn that over and see where I want that I think I want it about there. I like to put my masking tape on the back of the mat and then I don't have to put any adhesive under the ribbon at the front. So I'll just see if that's going to sit no, it's not. So I need to put another piece, which is perfectly fine. I'll just go a bit lower. The ideal is I want it to cover the bottom of those trees like that. Okay, and 
just pop it down there. Tear and tape's very strong and I find it's the best thing to stick the ribbon down with. So then we've got our piece there. You could put a little glue dot under there if you want to. Now for my sentiment I'm going to most probably just pop it about there. I'll just show you where I got that from. So the actual framelit that I stamped have a beautiful day on comes from the stitched labels framelits and I just used that one there. It's got some beautiful framelits for sentiment. Um, that's order number 146828 if you're in Australia. And the actual sentiment comes from the painted glass sentiment and it's got some lovely sentiments there in a calligraphy style writing which is really nice. And the order number for that one just depends whether you want wood or clear mount. So I'm just going to press that down there. And you can just go under here with a bit of ribbon and do a little false knot, but I just don't want the tutorial going too long, so I'm not going to hold you up too much. Ooh, must have been a bit of glue there. So then I just need to pop a piece, pop a bit of glue, I should say, on the back of here. So this is the fourth card in the challenge. I set myself to make six different cards using the Winter Woods bundle that is still available in the Occasions catalogue which runs out on the 2nd of January 2019. I do have a couple of catalogues if you live in Australia and you're interested in ordering from me. Let me know and I'm more than happy to get a catalogue to you while I still have them. And we just want that to be just as centred as we possibly can. It's not going to be perfect. So there's the card for today and then this was the original one and we just I just changed up the colouring with that one. So this one was Calypso Coral, Bermuda Bay and So Saffron in the sponging and this one was Bermuda Bay, Mango Melody and Calypso Coral. So this one shows a bit more of the yellow sort of colouring in it so but I like both of them um, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and I hope you will try that and until next time happy crafting